Apple have recently announced new version of macOS Sequoia in WWDC. This update introduced many interesting features. Some are exclusive to macOS and others are cross-platform. That will further improve integration of macOS with iPad and iPhone. While features like Apple intelligence will arrive later, there are plenty of new stuff to discuss. And as you guys know, we recently also have created on how one can install this developer beta in their machine toes. So if you also want to try that, I'm gonna put that video in the description of this one. Now let me share you my experience with this macOS Sequoia in last two days. So first of all, I would say my experience has been mixed so far. And the reason behind that is this is the first developer beta and things will change before, you know, macOS Sequoia will officially release this fall. And actually, I would say many of the software updates feels more like a feature update rather than core change of operating system which I would say macOS itself is quite polished one. So even if they release this feature update, I would say it is really nice to have. Let's talk about some of these features. For example, new feature in messages that actually is applicable for all platform. For example, Vision OS, iOS, iPad OS, and macOS Sequoia. But the problem with Mac is lack of touchscreen support, making some of these implementation different. For instance, in iMessage, you can use command key for bold, italic, underline, and strike through text, making it seamless. However, in case of Machintos, emoji reactions are assessed by right-clicking a message. Text effect, I would say, are a bit odd. Typing after adding an effect doesn't do that much. But highlighting the text and applying the effect that work. Also, you can now schedule messages by clicking the plus icon and then choosing send later. It worked well. However, these features can be clunky on Mac as I told you the reason. Mac OS is not optimized for touchscreen. When sending iMessages effect to someone not on the beta, they appear as normal text. Now let's talk about some of the features that are unique to Mac OS. Apple finally has added Windows tiling feature to Sequoia. This feature, I would say, is long, long overview. We can see that, you know, in Microsoft Windows exists from infinity. And even this feature is added, I would say, in current beta preview, it is finicky and doesn't work as smooth as in Microsoft Windows. This feature, I would say, is especially useful when we are working in multiple apps together. Sometimes Windows can't fit side by side due to size restriction leading to overlapping apps. It is frustrating and intuitive, but I hope Apple will improve it soon before the final release. Now let's talk about Safari. Safari, I would say, improved a lot based on Apple. It is the fastest browser on Mac, but I do not want to contest on it. Instead, let's talk about the update inside Safari. Safari now have improved reader view. Booking a hotel now shows a location pop-up in the top right, linking directly to the Maps app. Text size adjustment is easier with a dedicated option targeting only a web page text. Safari Reader now allows you to change the colors, fonts, making it more customizable and functional. Now let's talk about video. Background replacement, now a system setting applied to all video recording app. You can choose from default gradient or upload your own photos. Although this feature can be janky, importing photos take time and QuickTime player stretches the image to fit the screen. Despite occasional struggles, Apple segmentation technology for isolating the hair and fingertips is impressive. We also now can see a proper password saving app featuring a simple three window setup showing all passwords, pass keys, Wi-Fi password, security recommendations and verification code. I would say this is a fantastic addition. The Note app also has seen a significant improvement and feature update. There are now collapsible tile, inline audio recording and transcription and a refined interface. However, some of these features still need work. As you know, it is still a developer beta, 
For example, match note can be tricky. The app doesn't recognize multiple word for summing up icon, which can be annoying. Overall, I would say macOS Sequoia Developer Beta has a promising feature, but it's need refinement before official release. I am particularly excited about seamless integration of generative AI, especially ChatGPT, and an iPhone mirroring app. The iPhone mirroring app allows seamless drag and drop between devices, making integration among Apple devices tighter than before. Although I would say it's not yet functional. The lack of touchscreen on the Mac makes some of features clunky, sparking the thought whether Apple should consider a touchscreen Mac. I'm also curious about your thought. Could Apple be working on a touchscreen Mac? Let me know in comment down below. For more update on macOS Sukuya, hit the subscribe button. If you find this video helpful and informational, leave a like, comment, and I will catch you soon with such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.